It's the trash talk tailgate. Strong right slot, C right. Spider two wide banana seal. You're gonna call it like it's your favorite play you've ever gotten in your life. What up, everybody out there in this beautiful football world? An amazing time is coming to us. That's right, folks. The NFL playoffs are so close to being here. You could almost, you can almost smell the snowballs being thrown at Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Eagles fans. <laughs> yeah, man, absolutely. <laughs> but. In this episode of the Trash Talk Tailgate, me, Riley Puddin' Peters, and the doctor, defensive backs quality control coach Preston Rowe, we're going to lay out what we think the playoff picture is going to look like. So, as it stands right now, uh, we have, for the AFC, the number one seed is the Baltimore Ravens. Go check out our coverage of them. You know, we had, they had a great game against Jacksonville last week. That's going to be that's a great episode, yes. so go check that out. Um, so you have them at the one seed. They, they got the bye. Second seed, you got Miami. Then you got Kansas City, Jacksonville. Then you have Cleveland, Cincinnati, and the Colts in the last. Uh, you know, coming in at that seventh seed. Um, on the other side, you have San Francisco as the one seed. Wait, wait, wait. R- and Riley, then you have Riley, Riley. Dallas. What? You're... Yep. We might have to restart this. Oh, okay. Why? I don't know. My, my shit. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. We can just edit that out. Yeah, uh, so, my, my shit my shit was glitching yeah, real yeah. bad. Okay. All right, we're good. Whatever. If it's if it's that, just okay, just okay, keep okay. rolling with All it. Right, cool. On the other side, the NFC, we have first seed San Francisco. We got second seed Dallas, third seed Detroit, fourth seed Tampa Bay, uh fifth seed Philly. Six seed Minnesota, seven seed Los, yeah. Los Angeles. But I mean, we'll start with the AFC and we'll talk about just how <laughs> wide open um, their playoff system is. So this right here, um, this is a breakdown essentially by percentages of you know one first and foremost how likely it is that these teams make it to the playoffs. Um, and I think that's a you know that's a big one. Um, you know. Obviously, that's the most important thing for uh, pretty much all these teams, yeah. <laughs> making yeah. it to the playoffs. Uh, right now, the only team that's guaranteed is the is the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, that's the only team that is guaranteed yeah. their they, spot yeah, in the they playoffs. They clinched the right spot. Um, hmm. um, yeah, besides that, you got the, the Chiefs, who had, according to this, like a 99.99%. That's essentially yeah. what that would mean. <laughs> So they they have essentially clinched the playoffs and almost essentially clinched their division, but you know they just got to mm-hmm. finish out strong. Um, you have the Dolphins who have also essentially clinched making the playoffs. Their division not so as much, but the playoffs they're definitely they're 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 clinching it. They do have a sixty nine percent chance of nice. clinching their division, nice. which is nice, nice, nice. Um, and honestly, the the Ravens, the the Chiefs, and the Dolphins, those are pretty much the only teams at this point that are really in the race for uh, the the number one seed for that yes. clinch by. Um, after that, everyone else has got like a two or one percent chance <laughs> of doing it. So, you know, those are the three teams that are fighting for the first, the number one seed. Um, I mean, you know, let's talk about the rest of the. You know, let's. Go back to kind of how it's looking right now, and then we think about kind of going ahead. You know, you have the Broncos for the AFC. That's like, you know, kind of one of the – that's the low team. Uh, they've struggled at the beginning of the season, but recently they pulled it back. Right now they're sitting yeah. at 7-7. Seven and seven. Um, But they've got the Patriots, the Chargers, and the Raiders coming up, which is a very, very winnable yes. schedule. Um. So, you know, they've got to – they finish they out. They probably you know, have to win out and hope 23%. that teams ahead of them lose. Yeah. For sure. Now, they need people yes, to lose big time. But one of the things <laughs> that they have here, you know, if you look right here, the Texans, uh, they have a head-to-head win against the Texans. Uh-huh. So that's big for them. You know, if it comes down to that, they have a jump on them. Um, but – Oh, no, never mind. I read that wrong. That was the Browns, not the Bengals. I was about to say they lost to the yeah. Bengals. Um, 
but no, like uh, so you know they they've got a weird uh a weird schedule. Like I mean, they started three zero and won one, lost two more, won five in a row, and you know just kind of you know lost win lost the last couple weeks. Um, they just lost to the Lions, yeah. so there's that. You know they're on the back end of a losing streak now, going into going. Uh, actually, the Patriots are coming to Mile High, so at least they they have the Mile yes. High advantage. <laughs> but you know that's a team that we got to look out for. And then you have the Bengals. I mean. They, they're eight and six, man. It's the Burrows without Burrow. I mean, dude, Jake Browning. <laughs> That's Jake Browning has been he's been he's balling good, out, though. dude. He's been balling out. Yeah. You know they they definitely have like the hardest schedule coming in the end. They've go Steelers, Chiefs, Browns. The Steelers, like I said, Mike Tomlin, you know, most likely not going to the playoffs, but he's fighting to stay 500 to keep that record going. And I think that that matters. That's more than the playoffs (laughs) to him at this point. Um, Because that record's amazing. No, no. You know, definitely I feel like that's more than the playoffs. Yeah, dude. Playoffs. But, dude, like, you know, just look at the AFC right now, dude. Like, you know, you've got the AFC East. Miami's the only one that's – that uh that is in the playoff picture right now. But the Bills are right there at eight and six. You know, the AFC East, it's really the Dolphins yeah. and the Bills. And then the AFC West, it's really the, the Chiefs and the and the Broncos. And then you go to the AFC North and the AFC South. Right now, currently the AFC North has three teams in the playoffs. The Ravens at eleven and three, the Browns yeah. at nine and five, the Bengals at eight and six. And like we said, without Joe Burrow. And the Browns, like they've used four different quarterbacks this year. Um, I mean, Joe, yeah, and Joe, was all yeah, dude, like Joe Flacco has been elite, elite, dude. Um, you know, I don't know. Last week, last week was a little and sketchy. Then, they won, and then this is crazy, sketchy. dude. We we <laughs> thought at the beginning of the year the AFC South was going to be one of the worst divisions in all of football. You know, we thought for sure that the Colts and the Texans were going to be dumpster yeah. fires, but dude, right now the Jaguars. The Colts and the Texans are all sitting at eight and six, and really, it's only the Tennessee Titans who I think we both thought were going to be playoff contenders this year are out at five and nine. Yeah, like dude, the AFC playoff picture right now is fucking ridiculous. There's a log jam. It's like the top three or four teams, and then there's just a log jam. <laughs> yeah, literally. <it's- laughs> As soon as you see this, like two percent down, like these guys, all these guys. I mean, nine and five, eight and six, 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 seven and seven. They're the out, the outlier, and that's only because they they might slip them on some wild card bullshit. But they're most likely the Broncos are most likely the team out. Almost guaranteed. They they have that twenty three percent chance, but that's a low. That's less than a quarter. So so Riley, let me ask you this: um, out of all of these kind of log jam teams, like you know, take the top teams out. Like so, if you're a top team in the AFC, yeah. Like if you're the Ravens or you're the Dolphins or the Chiefs, who out of those teams that are kind of log jammed, who do you not want to play right now? Like who would you not want to play in the playoffs? Uh. It'd have to be the Browns or the Bills. I, I think I, I would mean, agree with that. Yeah. It really is. I mean, the Browns, no one wants no, to play that dude, defense. That defense is <laughs> fucking legit. And, you know, with the resurgence <laughs> of Flacco, even though he was a he little was. sketchy last week, a little sketchy, yeah. a little <laughs> sketchy, but uh, with the resurgence of Flacco, you know, they're they're in a position that they could really make a run. And then, you know, on the other side, you have the Bills. Last week, they ran for 266 yards. Go check out that episode. They put up an absolute clinic. You know, they're they're known as the gunslingers, and here they are running the yeah, ball dude. with the best of them, looking like dude. the Baltimore Ravens doing their best Raven yeah, dance man. impression. Look, look, looking like they actually have some bubs on that O line. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and so with that, and all, you know, their defense has been pretty consistent yeah. all season. Uh, you know, doing doing good work. Uh, it's those are have to be the two teams that if you're a top team you don't no. want to have to play them because they're going to be both of those teams are going to be hungry. Um, Joe Flacco wants he wants his old team he wants to he wants to take down the Ravens. <laughs> I 
I think I, I tend to agree with you, dude, but I, I'm going to throw in another team as well. Like, I, I agree with the Bills yeah. and, the, uh, and the Browns, but, dude, don't sleep on the Texans. If C.J. Stroud comes back healthy from his concussion, True. he can fucking sling that thing, dude. He's got Tank Dell, Nico Collins, yeah. Dalton Schultz. Like, you know, uh, fucking, they've been able to run the ball pretty well, you know, as well the last few weeks. Like, don't sleep on the Texans, man. Like they're they're young and they just they don't know what they don't know. You, you know, like that old saying, like you know, they're yeah. so young they just go out there and they just fucking sling it. Like CJ Stroud, like he doesn't know that you're not yeah. supposed to do these things as a rookie. He's just fucking doing them. You know, like for sure. No. I and you know they have another interesting end of their season. I mean, they got to go to the Browns, which yeah. is going to be a hard game. Like we just said, that's a team yep. that you don't really want to play. But then they go Titans, Colts. And I mean, I know we're talking about the Colts being a playoff team, but, uh, you know, they get the Titans, which, you know, they should win. So they have a, a, a very <laughs> hard game, a game that they should win. And then a game that if they do win, like the, the amount of momentum that they can mm. carry from it is very significant because it's another one of those log yes. jam teams. And it's a division um, opponent as well. You know? Yep. Like Yep. So that's like that big last division round. Um and that could damn well be the division too. It depends on, you know, how the Jaguars the play Jaguars the rest of the season. Been but playing well, dude. Go check out that episode. <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah. I mean, no. Um, it's, <laughs> but it's it's you know we're we're in a, we're in a very uh a very interesting ebb and flow with the AFC. Like you're right, you just got so much, so many um, middle of the pack teams. It's really usually yeah. not like that uh, for that you know, but they're they stacked are. in the middle, and so that, that that's going to be a very fun playoff run for yeah. everybody. I think. There's going to be some great games yeah, that come out of that. You ready for to sure. move on to the NFC, Riley? Let's do it. Absolutely, man. So for the NFC, <laughs> uh, you know, the, we got three clinched playoff yeah. teams already. So, you know, we have the San Francisco 49ers who have not just clinched the playoffs, they've clinched their division, and they've pretty much clinched first place. Yeah, they, they um, have to basically so, lose out to, to lose yeah, they'd have to. Yeah, they'd, yeah. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, who knows? Even that may not stop. Yeah. It. Um. So you have them, and then of course you have the Eagles that have clinched. Um. You know they're in a battle with the Dallas Cowboys, who's the other team that's clinched the playoffs. They're in a battle for the NFC yes. East, uh, the NFC Beast this year. You know another another conference that's historically had some woes. You know, mm-hmm. look at them now. Um. Look yeah. at us now. Oh. Well, not you. And Ryan. then after that, you have You're the Lions. Dog shit. <laughs> Fair. Um, look at us now. Look at us now. You have the Lions who have essentially clinched. I mean, like, like I said, with this one, you're like 99.9999% right. clinched. Um, and they've pretty much clinched their division as well. They really have to mess some things mm-hmm. up to lose that. Um, but in this one, like, you know, as the difference between this and the AFC is like, there is a very solid number one. You know, like I said, in the AFC, you have three teams that are kind of jockeying for that first seed. Um, and, you know, in this case, San, San Francisco 49ers, very solid number one. And then from there, you got a lot of teams that are just, uh, oh, you know, you have that top four, the Eagles, like the 49ers, the Eagles, the Cowboys, mm-hmm. and the Lions, who definitely look like the most dangerous teams, point blank period, in that conference, Dude, for sure. The Goffets. Yeah, the rumors of the Goffins' demise back. were greatly exaggerated. It's back like yeah, it never man. left, baby. I mean, just shout out. And that's the most consistent team there, man. The Lions, I mean, they're the only team that's, that is five and two at home, five <laughs> and two away. They're consistent. They can play. They play anywhere. They can travel. They can stay home. It doesn't matter. And I think that's all in the playoffs, especially, that's always one of the most dangerous teams. Dude. I mean, we, we talk about this, Riley, like, because we talk about this all the time, man. Like, teams, especially this time of year, they they take the identity of their leader, whether that's their coach or whether that's their quarterback. Yep. Dude, these Lions are the epitome of Dan Campbell. <laughs> yeah, man. They're tough. They play well. They play smart. Um, they don't give up. 
They they you feel like they're always yeah. in the game no matter what. They just and that's just yeah, no, it's it's on them to to go out there and and finish strong. You know, they they've got they've got the Vikings, the Cowboys and the Vikings again the eve in their season and so they've got a chance to really kind of cement themselves uh you know if they can go beat the cowboys you know they kind of need to beat the vikings yep. um just because that's a division team for them well if they beat important. the vikings they clinch the division um, and that'd be huge for them yeah for sure no you know I, yeah, yeah, yeah so they need to beat them and you know they got them twice they go away and then have them yeah. home in the last game but if they can go into dallas and beat dallas who is as as the season stands right now undefeated at home that would be a a trademark win for Dan Campbell. I mean, he could ride that bell cow all the way home if you wanted. I mean, that um, that would be an amazing win for them to go in to take yeah. into the playoffs. I couldn't think of a better win. Um, and honestly, I don't think it works the same going back the other way. I think if the Cowboys, because they've been undefeated at home, they they're probably expecting yep. to win that. So. You know, I, I don't think – I think the energy really is kind of one-sided, which means old Uncle Mo is probably going to be on the side of the Lions. I, I tend to agree with that. Um, and then, you know – then, you know, he wins. <laughs> old Uncle dude, Mo wins games. Uncle Mo is undefeated. Um, I mean, Everyone Truly. says Father Time's undefeated. No, Uncle Mo is undefeated. Um, fucking – uh, I mean, and then, and then, dude, the NFC South, like, it's kind of a dumpster fire, but, you know – Right now, the, the Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield's been playing really well. You know, he just had, you know, we yeah. he just had the went into Green Bay in Lambeau and just had the the league's first ever perfect passer rating of an from an opposing quarterback in Lambeau. So that's that's some big shit from Baker. Um, you know, you've got the you've got the yeah. Saints right there on their heels at seven and seven, and Atlanta's still in it at six and eight. You know, like um. You know that that division, like if you win that division, you're guaranteed a playoff spot, guaranteed a home game. So, yeah. and that's how you get a that's how you get an under 500 team exactly, to slide the playoffs, man. friends. But that's it. you know, um, honestly, then, dude, yeah. the the Packers, it looked like for a while there they might be a lock to make the playoffs. They've lost two straight. You know, they they lost a yeah. just really head scratching game against the Giants, and then. Uh, two weeks ago, and then they lost this week against at home against the Bucks. Like so, now the Packers are really scratching and calling, just try to make the playoffs. You know, like it, it looks like they're it yeah. looks like they might have fucked up. <laughs> they, they it, it looks yeah. like they really might have fucked up I, on uh, that one. I mean, I think the story of the NFC is the 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 exact opposite of the story of the AFC. Story of the AFC is obviously you got a strong top, but then you have like this very <clears throat> this log jam good middle, and and in the NFC you have this very dominant top, and then everyone else sitting at seven yes. and seven. Yes, <laughs> I it's so you know it's yeah, man, we gotta see how this one plays out. I, I'm interested to see the upset because there's always Well, I mean, the, the Seahawks and we all just hope upset the Cowboys. The you know, and the Seahawks, they got themselves right back into it, you know, because they're sitting right there at 7-7. No, seven seven. You know, um, I, I really think the NFC, like, it's wide open for different reasons, like you said. You know, it's like, it's, it's kind of top-heavy, yeah. and then it's just kind of like, kind of mid, kind of some mid-teams, you know. Dude, who would have thought the Vikings would be in the playoffs right now? After losing their quarterback Dude. and Justin Jefferson for most of the game. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, here they are, man. It is. It's it, crazy. It is crazy. Nah, this is a, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird, it's a weird set. But right now, you know, I, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, honestly, I kind of like where this thing is sitting out. I, I mean, I don't know if Minnesota loses these two weeks. Probably kicks them out, but I really don't know who replaces them. So maybe they do uh, stay in. It's hard, man. There's a lot. There's a lot of a lot of teams that are pulling at the bottom where it's just like a couple losses here and there, and it looks well, very different. Riley, I'm going to ask um, you the same thing. So, 
who who right now like you know there's who right now in the NFC playoffs or potentially in the playoffs would you not want to play if you're like if you're like the Niners or the Cowboys or the Eagles who who would you not want to play Ooh I I mean the only team that I think is dangerous, not dangerous. They're, hey, listen, any given Sunday, yep. any given Sunday. But Tampa Bay is on a three-win yeah. streak right now. So right now they do look like probably the most dangerous out of that low bottom. But I got to be honest, man. I'm not. I don't think any of those teams would really be like. Obviously, you got to show up yeah. and play football. But if they show up and play football, I don't think any of them really need to be worried. I this might be a cop out because they are currently the third seed. But dude. I don't think the Lions have gotten the respect they deserve this year. Oh, I thought we weren't well, counting the Lions. because I, I mean, the, it's like I said, it might be a cop-out. But, we like, dude, no one's respecting okay. them. Like, That's fair. I mean, I mean, dude, you know. like, they have a recipe for success. They've I mean, got a great offensive line. They run the ball. Dan Campbell understands the importance of great bub play with Panay Sewell, Frank Ragnow, all those dudes up front. That's why we love Dan Campbell here at the CT. He he appreciates great yeah. club play. Um, Absolutely. You know, they, I mean, dude, they've been getting hot. Sam Laporta is looking like a stud tight end, looking like one of the best young tight ends in the league right now. You know, they, they've been getting Jameer Gibbs. They, they still have David Montgomery, who's always been consistent when healthy. And Jared Goff just threw five touchdowns against a vaunted, you know, really hot Broncos defense. Um, so I know it might be a cop out, but dude, like, especially because the other thing that no one really talks about, if the Lions make the playoffs and they clinch the division and they're they get a home game, can you imagine how insane Ford Field is going to be for that game? They they yeah, have dude. been chomping everybody at the in the three one three show out. What, what'd me. you say, Riley? <laughs> I said, everybody in the three one three, put your motherfucking yep. hands yeah, up, yeah, dude. Like that, it's gonna be that kind of energy. They have been chomping at the bit for their team to not be dog shit. For it seems like, you know, decades, <laughs> a factually yes. our entire life. Yes, factually. dude. Like <laughs> it's gonna mean more to the Lions than any other team in 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 the uh, in the playoffs, in my opinion. In the- yeah, so, for sure. I wouldn't want to play the Lions, dude, especially at home. No. No. Yeah, no. They, they feel like, I mean, besides the 49ers, <laughs> I, I feel like the, the 49ers and the, and the Lions are kind of my two favorites. I think, I think Philadelphia is probably the biggest upset alert team. Okay. You know, if there's any of those teams that I'm, I'm worried about getting booted out in the first round because they just got shot in the foot, it's mm-hmm, got to be the yeah. Eagles. And uh, you know Dallas sucks. So. They 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 they've been struggling <laughs> on the road. Like if, if Dallas winds up as a wild card team, no. they'd have to most likely go on the road at Tampa. That I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah. trust them in that game to be honest. You know Dallas might be one and done. Yeah, no, they they're four and yeah. three. Yeah, oh, sorry, three and yeah, four. Three and they're four three on the four. road. Um, but yeah, man, this this has been awesome, dude. Yeah, man, this has been a great episode, but uh, you know, so we gotta keep keep tuning in. We we gotta see how yeah, we man. did. But uh, for this one, I think we gotta clean up and get out of here, y'all. Peace.